Hello everyone. Uh, my name is Uche Namdi Nicholas. I am back again with uh, the last part of the Computer Studies uh, Wayek Paper 3, the practicals. Uh, I'm very sorry for the delay. Um, I know you guys have been waiting for a long time, uh, but you know <laughs> we've been quite busy. I, I, I teach, so things have not been quite, quite easy here. We've been quite busy, uh, but thank God that um, we are in we are observing break now so it was an opportunity for me to complete this series and um, and uh, show everyone okay so i'm um, sorry once again let's move on okay so um last time i i've been treating questions number i've treated question number one and question number two so i would uh, drop the link in the description box so that um, for those of you who would want to look at question number one and two, you can see it as well. Um, okay, so we're supposed to delve into number three today. Okay, so I'm, I am going to conclude number three and then that will complete this very paper three for 2021. All right. Okay, so the question says, using uh, the Starship, the Starship to encourage draw, draw a 30 point star of diameter 18 cm and fill it with gray color okay so I'm, i'll quickly switch to my core draw i've launched it already okay so um i am going to draw a star shape so star shape would be found inside of the polygon too when you click on that little dot you have there, little arrow pointing downwards you have there click on it and then you have the star shape so click on the star shape all right when you click on that um you can now draw the size now i need to point out that it is important for you to draw a perfect star star with equal sides okay star with equal sides um all right but you can achieve that by holding your control key control key and then click hold and drag now if you watch on the diameter side the width and the height you see that they are equal yeah but i think uh, when you drop when you drop your mouse the size will change a bit that wouldn't be a problem because we will change that in course of our work okay so this is a better star uh, which is which uh, width and height are closer okay so i'm going to click on my pick two and then i'll click on one of them and delete all right so this is a star let's move on uh this should be 30 points 30 points so you get your 30 points from here this is five points that are one two three four five here so i'm going to click here and change this to 30. now if you are using core 12 this exercise will be difficult for you because core 12 has pre pre-written number of points uh, 32 also so if your school is using correct draw 12 you would have a problem with this very exercise so i advise that um all schools upgrade quickly because examination bodies uh they tend to be using more recent versions okay so once i type my 30 there i'll press my enter and that becomes 30 points so if you count closely you would see that the points are 30 now they say it should be 18 cm diameter should be 18 cm so that means both from one end to the other end should be 18 cm all right but that is not the case from this thing that we have here from these values that we have here so we need to change that although they are very close but they are not exact okay so if you leave this your lock to ratio if you leave this part lock that is the lock to ratio locked if you change this to 18 the other one will change but you won't get exactly 18 so uh though the difference will not be noticeable after all they won't ask for an evidence uh, just like I igcs would ask for okay so the quickest thing would be to unlock this and then also change this to 18 change this to 18 as well so so that will work and then you can lock this back okay okay um that's that let's move on uh 18 cm we okay fill it with gray color so gray color any of these shades is a gray shade so you can pick any of them so i'll pick any 
all right and then b says use sharpness to to adjust the comma shapes of the star by 25 points by 25 points so here is the sharpness to change that to 25 and press your enter okay and then there's a place three circles circle one two and three with diameters 10 cm 7.6 cm 5.4 cm respectively inside the star inside the star so i will quickly draw a circle that is your circle two that is your ellipse two click on it now i want this to be a perfect circle so i will hold my control key click and drag you can see it is equal now this one does not behave like your star shape okay this one obeys instruction very well all right so uh they say we should change it to what uh 10 cm okay three three circles so i'll just do ctrl d twice so i'll have my three circles for me go back to my pick two so that i can easily split them apart okay so 10 cm 7.6 cm so let me change this to 10 cm oh i'll come here change this to 10 cm okay the height will change along uh change it to seven point because i have locked my aspect ratio that is this very ratio here so um 7.6 cm and then the last one is i think it's 5.4 5.4 cm oh, let me go back and confirm yep correct place them inside so i'll place this here place this inside and place this somewhere there so this is one two three okay let's go back uh use text to to type arise and shine arise and shine okay so i'll go to my text tool, which is this one click on it click here and i'll type arise and shine now i like to type things exactly the way they are typed in my question paper arise and shine so they were typed in capital letter i have typed in capital letter and they look a little slanted can you see that so to me it looks like italics okay all right slanted a bit all right so this looks good i think uh yeah and, and that looks exactly like it resembles it right now place it in between circle two and three remember this is big one circle one circle two and circle three so in between circle one and two somewhere here in between circle one and two well i can reduce the size this looks quite big i can just shrink it from here so that it stays between circle one and two all right in between them okay so i think this looks good okay uh where are we fill circle two with lemon color fill circle two with lemon color and circle three with white uh circle three that is this one down here with white and then the circle two the one in the middle with lemon color lemon color lemon color a shade of green right like light green kind of uh light green this looks like light green now see uh, it's okay now it's lemon color it's light green moving forward <laughs> okay uh where are we fill circle two okay i've answered that now place five stars inside circle three place five stars inside circle three so i'll pick that star and then i can just drop one here okay i'll control d yeah i could move it out control d again change location control d again drag it out and then i'll do ctrl g and move it out as well so that's that five stars inside of circle three now group your drawings how do we group select from outside and enclose all of them using your pick tool using your pick tool I have selected them I have selected them I'm noticing something here I made a mistake earlier ah hold on 
uh, I think I colored the wrong guy here. I colored. Uh, where is my circle two? My circle two is missing. So let me use. Let me move it out. Aha. Okay. Who can tell me what happened here? Now, this is what happened. I think I drew circle. I drew circle two before circle one. Remember, I drew the circles first and then resized them. So, so this is what happened. The new object stays on top. The old one stays under. Okay. So, in order to make this work, I need to place this circle one under circle two. So, how can I achieve that? I would right click and do order and uh, say behind behind I want it behind this guy so I'll do behind this guy it has stayed behind it yeah point at it and click okay so that works so remember the one that is colored the one that is colored is circle two not circle one so please take note of this also you do not make the same mistake that I did here so I'll click on this one that I originally colored and take out the color from the fill color sorry you see I'm going through the long route because I made a mistake so no fill I've taken out the color then I'll click on the one at the center which is the two and change it to that lemon color that we picked earlier okay aha so this looks like it so please 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 be vigilant be observant so that you would notice when things go wrong okay uh okay we're at the point where we have to group them i'll select them like this and group them together so i have selected them as a whole for me to group them i can do ctrl g ctrl g on the keyboard or i can right click and you will see group ctrl g is also showing there so that's that i've grouped them now what is the essence of grouping so that when you move when you select you select all of them when you move you move all of them together all right uh we have group drawing type in your full name as the footer so just go to your text to come down here and type your name and type your name your full name please your full name students no abbreviation your full names okay um just your name okay they didn't mention uh, your reg number okay it's good though but uh, i like to I, I like to be double sure uh -huh. so for me i'll just put in any number here to represent my reg number my reg number okay very very important so that in case it is missing somewhere they can easily locate the actual owner so i'll go back to my pick two and uh, bring this in a little bit all right uh that's that the last part says save and print your work submit your printer to your supervisor so you save you could do control s and um control s and type in the file name and save it in your work area that folder that i mentioned in question one okay there is a folder that was mentioned here already you say create a folder and make sure you store all your work in that folder you see it here you must create a folder you must create a folder on the desktop so create a folder in, and store everything in there okay so that's that and then you do ctrl p to print your work ctrl p choose your printer choose whatever printer that you have and then you print okay uh, don't don't mind me i'm not on the network so I don't have access to that printer. All right, uh, that's that. Any other thing? I don't think there's any other thing that we're missing out here. Okay, so that is it about that question. It seems to be like the most simplest of them all. I don't know why I, I, I delayed up to this point. Okay, okay, so thank you all. Please watch the rest of the videos, subscribe, share, send to your friends. 
let them know send to your friends those who are writing exams let them have this so that it can better prepare them i prepared other years as well please go through them if there's any year that i've not prepared and you want me to prepare please let me know i can squeeze out time during uh this little easter break and uh, quickly do that for you thank you all um see you guys later bye